Uh, hello, I am Dr. Sriram. I am an ENT surgeon. I work in the Narayana Health Multi-Specialty Hospital, which is located in Whitefield, Bangalore. Now, ear bleed. Uh, ear bleed is uh, the most common cause for ear bleed. Obviously, be traumatic. Now, trauma. Trauma. The most common cause of trauma is your most commonly occurring earbuds. We call it Q-tips or ear wigs, and these are very easily available. And people tend to put them in the ear and try to clean the ears, which is absolutely not recommended. So that's the most common cause of ear bleed for anybody. But of course, we have seen people putting needles, pin, and so many other things which they find, even car keys, and that will cause ear bleed. So that's the most common cause of ear bleed. The other common causes are a slap. Yeah, you have a slap in the ear, and that definitely will cause an ear bleed because the ear canal is like a very closed cavity, and the drum is a very flimsy drum. And when the slap happens, there's a very severe negative pressure which just pulls the drum to one side, and then that causes a massive ear bleed. So those are two main causes for ear bleed. You can also have ear bleed and infections. You have some uh, bacterial or viral infection which causes the bulging of the drum and the drum gets perforated and that causes bleed. The other rarer causes of ear bleeds are uh, maybe some bleeding diathesis, bleeding, bleeding disorders which can cause ear bleed. But these are the common causes. Rarely though, uh, ear bleed which is spon not spontaneous and which is persisting for a long time and doesn't get cleared, that could be a sign of an ear blossom. So in any case, if you have a ear bleed, you should consult your ENT doctor.